What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. So, not too long ago, Phantom got a buff, and we're going to try him out and see how he does today. Back in the day, this little guy used to be amazing, and you're probably wondering, is he still amazing? I'm going to say yes. So, we're going to go show you how to build him, then go do some gameplay so you can see this little dude in action. As far as modules go, I think two repair amplifiers and a nuclear amplifier, or one repair amplifier, one heavy armor, and one nuclear amplifier. Or if you don't have that, maybe a last stand, a nuclear amplifier, and a heavy armor kit. Those would be my recommended module setups. Now, when it comes to pilot skills, you definitely want the Olga pilot that makes his ability last longer. She is awesome. Then we got Adamant Roadhog. We got Armor Expert, we got Mechanic, we got Roadhog, we got Dodger, we got Module Expert, and we got Quartermaster. Those are all really, really good skills to put on this guy. Next, we have the standard drone setup on the Nebula, Suppressor, 2 on Repair Unit Defense, and the Mild Damage Absorber. Best weapon setups, I really like the brand new shotguns, these are doing awesome. Sonic weapons do amazing on this little guy, I love the Sonics. And the Toxic Acid Sprayer weapons are awesome as well. So those are my recommended setups for this little dude. So let's take this little beast into a battle and see how good he actually is. All right, let's drop our Phantom in and we're gonna go for the center beacon. We are gonna run to the beacon and we are gonna defend it. Now I don't normally like to use my ability too soon because by the time you get to the uh, beacon and your ability starts to run out, then you're in trouble. So I like to I like to start at about halfway or maybe 75% of the way to the beacon. Then I turn it on, get the uh, awesome speed, and that way if I get in trouble, I can just teleport and leave. You don't really want your ability to run out. Some guys use the ability as soon as you uh, go into battle there, which I don't know. But we got our first kill. We smashed that little guy. I'm going to tell you what. This little phantom is very very fun we're gonna make these red dudes da, 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 die here comes a nasty Fenrir so good news is he's focusing my teammate instead of me so that gives us a good chance to come up behind him and just smash him and bash him up and we're gonna go ahead and run over this way I see a good opportunity to try and take the left beacon and a couple of people spawned in but we're just gonna go ahead and just go for it guys let's get in there we can always teleport out right we figure you know what if we get in trouble we're just gonna leave which we did now that guy up on the roof with the bendy weapons is giving us a hard time, so we want to try and take him out. I gotta watch out for this hawk, but I see another great opportunity to grab a beacon back here, so I think I should probably... Eh, let's go to the left, let's go to the left. That hawk's probably going to cause me a lot of problems. I don't see anybody over here that's really going to cause me issues, so let's go ahead and steal this one real quick, right? As long as nobody spawns in, we will be good. We will be good, we'll take it. This beacon is... Uh crap, what's going on here? It's not turning. Somebody, yeah, they, okay, they came in. They saw us. They they figured out what we're up to, guys. Here the nasty red dudes come. All right, so let's smush the Fenrir into little pieces. Come on, d -d 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 die, Mr. Red Dude. It's going to be some dead dude. D -d 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 die, d -d 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 die. We got the triple kill. Nice, nice. So this little guy is performing really good. So far, I'm really happy with the way he's playing. I mean, I'm just having an overall really good time playing this little guy. He's very fun. He's fast. He's pretty durable. He's got decent enough firepower. I mean, two lights and a medium is not huge firepower, but I mean, you can see it's doing some really good damage overall. And they smashed me. All right. They smashed me. They smashed me. All right. Let's take this little monster back into another battle and see how he does. I'm having a lot of fun with this thing, guys. Phantom got buffed not too long ago. I'll tell you what. He uh, He's a little beast now. All right, so we're dropping into the moon map. I got some friends joining me on this one, so this should be a lot of fun. We're going to go ahead and run right towards the center. Um, I'm going to try and pick a good time to activate the ability. Right now, it seems cool. That way, we can just run in there. We can try and beat these guys up, and if we get into trouble, we can just teleport out and leave. One of the things about Phantom is he's just so fun. Being able to teleport is awesome, especially if you run in and you're just like, oh, crap, I shouldn't have came in here. You can just push the button and get the heck on out and get back to safety really quick. So that's a huge plus. That's a huge plus. I love this little dude. Used to be one of my favorite robots in the game. And really, he's starting to be one of my favorites again. So right now, I see my team kind of needs help taking that back beacon. But this nasty dude just spawned in here. And we want to get rid of him. But bam! Oh my god, did you see that healing? 
He went from like nothing to full health again. That was some crazy healing. All right, we took that one out. That one died. Our team is doing pretty good over here. We just kind of need to make sure nobody takes our beacon behind us. But sometimes you just got to run around. Oh, someone's over there. All right, back to where we started. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Smash him up, smash him up, smash him up. And that, that, that guy's uh, running around the little poles there. He came out to fight. All right, he must have just reloaded his weapons. And I'll tell you what, this little phantom's not taking that much damage if you play it correctly. I definitely uh, would say healing module or advanced healing module. I forgot to mention that during the uh, part where I showed you the build. But yeah, those healing modules plus this guy's ability will keep you alive for a really long time. Plus the nebula, all the healing from the nebula is amazing. All right, so we took that guy out. Let's go try and get center away from these nasty reds. These nasty reds are trying to steal our center, guys. That's, that's my center. That's my center. You can't have it. You may have it now, but... I will have it in a second. We got him. We got him. Bashed him up. All right. Let's go see if we can steal this beacon. Why not? Let's go see if we can steal this beacon. We're going to get him. And that's a nasty Fenrir, but there's a bunch of us shooting him. He should. We should make quick work out of that guy. So in, in a uh, squad fight, we got a full squad going on here. So in a, a squad fight, you can see this little dude is very, very helpful. He's just, uh, he's tearing it up out there. I mean, he really is. I'm very, very impressed with the performance of this little robot. I mean, you can't go wrong with this, this little dude. He's awesome. He's amazing. If you don't have a phantom, I would definitely suggest building one. I mean, he's just such a good time. All right, our team is getting all the beacons. Ba -ba 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 bam shotguns to the face and i know i'm starting to get a little low on health but it's amazing how durable this is if you time the ability and the healing modules correctly it's amazing how much durability you actually have it can be very hard for the enemies to take your little phantom out sometimes so this dude is a little beast he is a beast i mean he's gonna smash him up and bash him up all day long and come out on top most of the time I mean, sure, you're going to have some games where you go in and they just beat the crap out of you, but it happens, you know? You win some, you lose some. You can't win them all, but this little dude is definitely worth playing. Like, whatever buff they gave him not too long ago didn't really sound like much, but I'm telling you what, it feels like a lot. There was a time where I don't think I would have really played this little guy because he died so easily. Now he's just a, uh, now he's just a beast, guys. Now he's just a beast. I mean, he's tearing us up out there. We'll just go ahead and finish out the rest of this game. But I'm telling you guys, I think you can build phantoms in the workshop right now. If you don't have one, it's something you should probably consider. Nice, nice. We won. Awesome job, team. You guys rocked it out. All right. So this little guy is definitely still amazing. Definitely worth playing. Definitely worth building. I think everybody should have one of these in their hangar somewhere. Even if it's just in the storage and you bring it in every once in a while. This little dude's amazing. All right, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends, click that little bell and set those notifications to all. That would be a really awesome thing to do, right? Sure, why not? All right, you guys have an awesome day. Catch you later. Lightning out.